Hi boys and girls! Today, Knox and I are so excited because we're going to be reading a very special book for you called The Night Before Second Grade. And this book is so perfect because I am having you watch this video the night before you start second grade in our class tomorrow. So Knox just wanted to say hi, but he's probably going to go to sleep now. Put him back there so we can get started reading. The Night Before Second Grade, and this is by Natasha Ling, and the art is by Amy Wummer. Twas the night before second grade. I was out with my friend. We couldn't believe summer vacation had come to an end. Seems like summer flies by, doesn't it? But we were so excited and ready for school, even if it meant no more trips to the pool. All through the summer, I read so many books about castles, dinosaurs, and pirates with hooks. I cannot wait to see what kind of books you guys read this summer and learn about all the books we're going to read in second grade this year. But in second grade, this is the first time I'll read chapter books and long poems in rhyme. Jack thinks I'll have it much too easy this year. Piece of cake, he said. You have nothing to fear. I'm not sure, I told Jax. Our teacher, I heard our teacher is tough, though I'm hoping he'll help us learn all kinds of new stuff. Like inches and angles, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and even some fractions. I love, love, love this book because those are all things that you're gonna learn in math this year. I can already count from 100 and back. My dad always says, I'm a real brainiac. He's counting backwards. He says 100, 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, 94. Mom had taken me shopping for sneakers and jeans. My leg have grown long. My legs have grown long like skinny string beans. I picked out markers and notebooks plus a brand new backpack. Mom bought little boxes for my favorite snack. It looks like his favorite snack is fruit snacks, which is one of my favorite snack time snacks. So we'll see if you guys agree too. My backpack was hung on a coat hook with care with my school spirit t-shirt that I can't wait to wear. That night I nestled all snug in my bed while visions of chapter books dance in my head. You guys hear Knox meowing? He's looking at the book too. Time to go, you two. Got everything, Nate? Dad was starting a new job and he couldn't be late. Mom dropped me off in front of the school. Hey, look, all my friends are back together. How cool. Each of us wearing our school spirit t-shirts. Check out our new shoes. We've all had growth spurts. I was kind of nervous about going to class. It's gonna be weird, I told my friend Cass. Still, I couldn't wait to start the first day when the bell ringed. I was on my way. Where is our teacher? I thought to myself. Then he came as I put all my stuff on my shelf. When what to the class's amaze I should appear? <gasps> But my dad in his school spirit t-shirt, he was grinning ear to ear. I'm your teacher, said dad. You can call me Mr. Lee. What a fun surprise, his dad is his teacher. Especially you, he joked, pointing directly at me. Dad let our class know that even though I'm his son, he won't play favorites, he'll be fair to everyone says he wrote on the board second grade rules, which is so true, second grade's the best grade. I'm glad second grade is finally here with my dad as my teacher. It'll be an interesting year. What a fun story. I hope that you are having an amazing night before second grade. And Knox and I cannot wait to see you in class tomorrow. And well, just me, he'll, he'll send you good vibes from home. But we hope you guys enjoyed this read aloud and we are so excited that you are in our class this year. Say bye, buddy. He's like, mom, you're embarrassing me. All right, I love you guys so much already and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye.